Let's invite the chief engineer of Wireless Product Management Department of H3C, Mr. Yu Hongzhou, of Wi-Fi 6 enabler of a smart and supreme wireless connectivity experience. Hello, everyone, and I am Yu Hongzhou. And today I'm quite delighted to come here to share with you H3C of our products and uh, solutions in Wi-Fi 6. Actually, the emergence of Wi-Fi 6 has provided the multiple improvement in terms of the access users' numbers and the um, latency. So actually, H3C, with our uh, years of accumulation in this as well as in the industrial design and in Wi-Fi 6 with our unique technologies. Uh, our Wi-Fi 6 Extreme technology solution tried to solve more of those business problems in different scenarios. So today, the kind of uh, solutions in different scenarios, you might be familiar with most of them, including the differentiation uh, and the accuracy of the a user service, as well as the high density big uh, bandwidth business and the video conference that we experience frequently during our current disease. And I'd like to share with you uh, in the following speech. So actually, with the improve of our lifestyle, uh, we might have the differentiated user experience. For example, for the airline service. If you are a VIP user of this airline, you can enjoy the VIP restroom provided by it, and you can also experience the kind of uh, user channels provided for you. And the uh, wireless network has been mentioned by our users frequently, for example, in those competition stadium. For those users who have purchased the VIP booth, they require the kind of a frequent wireless network service. And for the other kind of users, they want to share the kind of uh, excellent and amazing moments they have seen in the competitions real time. So how can we solve this kind of problem? In order to, in order to uh, solve these scenario problems, we have introduced the SACP technology, that is the station access control policy, to just uh, classify the different terminals and to provide the different bandwidth products for them to solve these scenario problems. First of all, we would have an um, optimization of the AP radio frequency to have a reorganization of the resources of different radio frequencies so that we can just uh, provide a good service for more users. If the 5G is better, we can put more users in the 5G. And we will just uh, tailor made uh, access great for different customers and to classify them. And in the whole network, we will have this kind of a strategy guarantee. So, so for those users in the VIP booth, whether they are within the booth or outside the stadium, as long as they are connected within the H3C wireless network, they can enjoy the fluent wireless network access service. For those clients who have purchased the um, kind of uh, network service, they can also just uh, share the pictures they have taken on site. And by introducing the SACP, we can solve the problems of the differentiated and the targeted user service. And this business model is not kind of uh, real-time and the big data service, a big uh, bandwidth service. So how can we improve the user experience? And this scenario is commonly seen in the library. Sometimes when we go to the library, we not only read the books, but we will bring our own pads or cell phones to learn through the videos. For example, I always go to the library. If there are few people in the library, 
uh, we will have a quite good experience. But with more and more people coming in, the quality of the internet will also become worse. Even though Wi-Fi 6 has brought us bigger bandwidth, but the resources is limited. So while these users are grabbing these resources, so there will be many of the message and this kind of a low efficiency management. They might also grab resources together with our user, users. In order to solve these problems, our Wi-Fi 6S has utilized the ROP technology, that is the radio resource optimization policy, by utilizing the AI technology to identify this message automatically and to abandon those kind of uh, message that is irrelevant to improve the utilization efficiency of the radio resource. And the efficiency can be improved 30% to effectively guarantee the good experience of uh, video learning in these uh, high density scenarios like the library. And the video business guarantee is a big difficulty in our wireless network industry, but it's not the most difficult part. Actually, while we are watching the videos, our cell phones can do the buffer for us. So actually, they are, don't have the largest uh, impact on the network. But what is the biggest difficulty for us would be the video conference that we are having now, which requires not only the clear sound and fluent image as well, as some of the other uh, aesthetic function. So this kind of uh, real-time data transmission will have a really big impact on the Internet. Even though the Wi-Fi 6 has improved the network bandwidth, but this kind of large-scale real-time video conference has, has brought multiple times of the data impact. So this is a typical end-to-end -end problem. In order to solve this problem, so the auto supporting AC with the Wi-Fi 6X, we have for every AC, they have their specific hardware accelerator booster. And in the front end, we will use the AI technology to identify the message. For those protocol message, we will just uh, upload to the CPU. And for the other message, we will deliver to booster. So this kind of advanced transmit and uh, separation technology can greatly improve our efficiency and the transmission efficiency can increase 70 percent and so as to guarantee the stability of the video conference. Uh, all those scenarios that we have mentioned, you can see that the terminals are fixed, but once the terminals are mobile, how can we improve the experience. As for the scenarios of the mobile terminals is commonly seen in the business hall, for example, by the end of last year, I've done the check of my automobiles. I've noticed that uh, the, there are many people in the business halls and the people in different windows. And sometimes a queue and they are using the wireless network. You will find that sometimes you will have a quite full experience. But in other times, it's really hard to even send a message. The reason behind that is that with the movement of the people, uh, sometimes maybe the AP in a certain area cannot have a really good coverage of the uh, users in this sector, and together with many of the other issues like roaming and the other interference, so it might lead to a worse experience. So how can we solve this problem? We take the lead, the function of the software defined radio frequency. So through the self-censoring of the radio frequency to identify the changes in the terminals to automatically 
to do the adjustment and the tuning of the capacity and the direction of the radio frequency. For example, if the users in one uh, AP has increased, and it will just uh, use the corresponding techniques to make the AP surrounding it to increase the coverage of the users and to have a better experience. So for this kind of software defined radio frequency, we can make sure that users can have a good experience on surfing the internet. So all of those plans we have mentioned, they are closely related with our life and work. Apart from those scenarios, there are many of the other service scenarios like hotels. As the businessman, many people may have a really high requirement and uh, for the hotels and the quite familiar with this after a uh, day of work. Hotel can provide us with a good, uh, with a moment to enjoy with ourselves. So sometimes a painting and the fragrance can relax you. But well, in this moment, you suddenly noticed that along your bed there is a very big network device and is constantly flickering. Well, it influence your mood. So in these kind of scenarios, the internet network, especially the AP deployment, is totally different. They cannot be hung in the ceiling or be put in a table. You need to utilize the kind of a telephone box to be installed. So this kind of outro thing product that can be adapted to the environment this kind of model has been put into focus by H3C in Wi-Fi 5. So these products in this regard has been quite popular among the market and most of them are the hotel users. In the era of the Wi-Fi 6, well, it has provided us with the bigger throughput performance. Also, it has high requirement of the capacity. And how can we solve this kind of problem? To control the size of the Wi-Fi 6 products is key. So first of all, we will simulate the air tunnel effect. And according to the do the kind of simulation of the heat dissipation graph and to do a redeployment. And as according to the structure within it to us of our total structure, according to the whole procedure of the process adjustment, the size can be reduced 47% and the heat dissipation space can increase 50%. So currently, our ultrasound Wi-Fi 6X products, when they are allocated on the wall, they can have a really good adaptation with the environment and be fully integrated with the environment. At the same time, the client can enjoy the good capacity provided by our Wi-Fi 6 products. So for all of those scenarios we have mentioned, you are quite familiar with that. And next, I would like to introduce to you a scenario that we don't commonly see that would be the underground pipeline gallery. Uh, the underground pipeline gallery as the vessel for our city has provided many functions for us and uh, many of the operation maintenance staff they need to come underground to guarantee the stability of the operation of this underground pipeline gallery. So for example like the data transmission and etc are heavily relying on the deployment of those AP underground. Uh, with the emergence of the Wi-Fi 6, it allows us to reduce the AP deployed underground. Even the Wi-Fi 6 has provided this kind of a capacity, but the current power supply cannot satisfy with it. The current power supply can only achieve 
100 meters, and some of the merchants they have thought a new solution is that they can use two cables. One is for the power transmission, another one is for the data transmission. But H3C thinks that this is not enough. Actually, the more distance we have, we have to input more money into it in order to reduce the cost of this and to achieve the same result. We have promoted the Wi-Fi 6X remote distance power supply solution. And this total distance can be elongated to 260 meters. So you can see that our solution can reduce 20% of the investment input. So while we are reducing the investment cost for clients and we can provide a better experience, due to the limited time, I cannot just uh, um, share with you all of the scenarios with you. But you can see from my presentation is that with the enhanced Wi-Fi 6X technology, as well as our accumulation in this regard, we are trying to provide services and solutions and optimization for many of the scenarios so as to provide a better scenario experience. But these are only a small part of our uh, smart wireless network. And the very important part would be the intelligent and simple operation and maintenance. So this part is very important and is the key for our business. If you are highly interested in this sector, so please stay and our Colleague will introduce to you about that. Thank you for your time.